Hi all, this is Dr. Sage Breslin and this is Wisdom Wednesdays, the special series on my journey with cancer. And this is video number 31, I believe. So, so strange. I'm used to making these videos in the morning and having them posted by midday. And I just noticed that I delayed and delayed and I wondered like if I was experiencing just resistance and if so you know what in the world would I be resistant towards and you know I I couldn't put my finger on it I sat down and had a conversation with a friend about other resistance I'd been feeling um you know resistance about writing and um not so much doing work, but just noticing like a big lack of motivation over the last couple of days. And, you know, we sat there talking about like, well, so what's different? You know, what's, what's been different the last few days? Well, my big news is that I was able to walk without my walker, uh, holding on to somebody, and I made it all the way around the block which sounds probably ridiculous to most of you and ridiculous to the competitive athlete in me, but not having been able to do anything without a walker for a month, um, it was such a big gain, such a big stride. And yet, you know, clearly so different than what I have been used to in the past. So I... Um, yeah, I was really excited that I could do it. I was completely worn out by it um, and ended up, you know, once I came inside, uh, quickly getting back into bed and under the covers and being so worn out, I could hardly deal with myself. Um, so that was great. It was great stride. What I noticed uh, after uh, that night was in the middle of the night, I woke up with such physical discomfort. Um, enough so that I was up for about an hour in the middle of the night. Finally, I was able to take some Advil and go back to sleep and ended up um, sleeping a little later in the morning. And, you know, then just felt um, worn out, but still tried to push myself to doing it again yesterday. And so back around the block, we went again. And once again, uh, you know, it felt pretty worn out, um, joined the family for dinner, then crawled back into bed and, you know, really felt almost overtired. And uh, in the middle of the night, woke up in really big physical discomfort again, um, this time so tired after two days that I was too tired to get up and get the Advil. So I tossed and turned, you know, from probably, I don't know, four or five in the morning on and finally just gave up and got up and felt that same sort of drag on my body. And, you know, I had to really consider what that means, right? Do you, do you lean in towards your body? Do you learn, lean away and push through? And we've talked about this before, you know, how do you in business when you get a sense or an intuition or, or a gut instinct, do you lean into it or do you learn, lean away? And my instincts have been, you know, to lean in. But at the same time, this is such an unknown for me, this, this whole uh, experience of not getting you know, nerves firing in the right direction, not getting the right communication strategies between my brain and my body and feeling as if I really need to push through somehow to regain my body, feeling pressure, knowing that my caregiver will only be with me until the end of January, feeling this pressure like I have to push through. And yet what I'm noticing from my body is enough resistance that it's almost impossible to push through. So I am trying to listen to that other part of me about, you know, honoring the process, honoring my body, honoring the cues from my body. If I'm tired and unmotivated to a certain degree, letting myself step into that and just kind of waiting my way through it um, instead of forcing myself. Um, I've kind of struck a middle ground by, you know, doing a few things that are easy on me and that I know I'll feel good about once I get a small project done or uh, read something uh, small, like a small article, 
I do feel a sense of not only productivity, but okay, here's one thing I could do that I felt in control of that didn't tax me. So I am just imparting that same wisdom to you. Uh, you know, take a look when you experience resistance. First sip with it, see if it makes sense, see if it is meaningful to you, see if it's time to uh, move forward and move through or whether it's time to just really lean into those symptoms, those feelings, those ideas um, and, and get a sense of, you know, knowing the difference between those two circumstances. So that's the wisdom I have to offer you today. Uh, as it is a little bit later in the day today, uh, I am looking forward to making continued progress and sharing that as well, but also willing to share with you the challenges uh, that come through the process. Thank you so much for being part of my tribe. This is Wisdom Wednesdays with Dr. Sage Breslin, and I look forward to uh, sharing more with you next week.